YouTube, this is Reagan. I'm coming at you with my week 21, I believe it is, um, post-op VSG update. And this is actually my third attempt at making this video. I am mm, wasn't quite sure I liked how the other two were going. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know. Um, so just now leaving work, of course, I'm in my car because that's what I do. Um, and... I'll go ahead and get started with the numbers. So my highest weight was 450. My weight of uh, day of surgery was 436. Last week I weighed in at 367. And this morning my scales, I think my scales broken. Anyway, this morning it ranged anywhere from, goodness me, 351 to 375 so take your pick as to where we fall in there um, I actually um, ordered a new scale online because I think the scale is just kaput and um, every time I look at myself it always okay whatever there's like the reflection of the back anyway I'll get to that but anyway um, ordered a new scale online my scale is silly. Um, it, yeah, so we'll see what I weigh next week. It'll be a whole new adventure. Um, I took my braids out, and I know they were out from the last video. I didn't say anything about it. I was focused. Um, last Thursday night, Friday morning, when I made my last video, I actually um, was wearing a wash and go. Um, today, and I've been natural for um, about two years now, um, last night I did, uh, stretching using bands with my hair, and so I decided to do my Afro Puff rough and tough with my Afro Puff. Y'all remember that song? If you don't, well, now you know. Um, and we'll see what I do tomorrow. It's always like a new adventure. I'm, I'm loving it, uh, you know. But with the sun, you see that on the left side, the sun coming in, it makes it look like I've got a big hole, and I really don't. See? It's, there's really hair there. See, I'll just, I'll just drive like that. That's, that's, yeah. Anyway. So, um, the reason why I wasn't really liking the last videos because I really didn't have direction on where I was going, what I was talking about. Um, I'm trying to have like a topic that I'm kind of discussing with my videos is going forward. And, um, there were a few things that I've talked about, but you know, I think, I was thinking, okay, well, I could talk about loss. I could talk about, but I think I want to talk about change. It's a good topic. Change. Um, so it's interesting because in the past, anytime I had done any sort of new weight loss program, routine, diet, whatever it was, um, you know, you go at it for a couple weeks and then you give up. You go at it for a couple weeks and then you give up. The longest I ever went on any, like, stayed strong, focused on any program uh, was about three months. And um, so I'm about to celebrate my five month surgery here in the next. What's today? Oh, yeah, here in the next few days. So my next video will probably be a combo. But, um, but yeah, so this is going on five months and I know that like, I haven't, I haven't been gung ho, you know, last week I worked out one time. Um, now granted my son had his little teacher night. Oh, I'll talk about that. I oh, did I, I might've talked about that in my last video. Anyway only worked out once but teacher night I had to go up and down the steps it was ridiculous class in the basement class on the second floor class on the first floor class on the second floor really you can't have classes on the same floor and if I already talked about it it's serious enough for me to talk about it again because I was done by the time that night was over anyhow but so yeah last week only worked out once um, I'm coming out it strong now granted last week there was a holiday and other things going on but <clears throat> still no excuse. Um, I'm actually headed home now, about to get changed, head up um, and head to my hip hop class tonight. Um, but the whole 
nothing of change. So I'm coming in on about five months post-op. Um, and I know I've been, um, haven't been as focused this past month or so. My focus is coming back. But, you know, with the weight loss, there has to be a change in habits. So change in habits, change in lifestyle, change in hangouts, change in everything. And, you know, I have an open door. I'm an open book when it comes to my story. I have an open door for anyone who is interested in coming along for the, for the ride. Um, I'm not one to pressure anyone. Uh, if you want to come along, great. If not, that's fine. Um, I can still be your friend even if you're not working out with me, you know. But, um, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like things are, things are changing. Um, there are people, my relationships are changing. Um, and I don't know how much of it has to do with the journey, but I, I kind of feel like it's all relative. Um, you know, the whole thing of change, change being the only thing that's constant. I'm going to stop for a second with that one and I'm going to repeat it again. Change is the only thing that's constant. And a lot of people don't handle change well. I mean, I think about even at work. New policy, new this, new that. And there's times where I, you know, I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, somebody leaves, we get a new director, whatever it is. Change is the only thing that's constant. So as I'm changing, as my lifestyle changes, um, my... My attitude is changing. Um, I, you know, I've, I've never really been one to hold on to drama. I'm not a, a drama mama. I'm not a drama mama. I don't do that. Um, I don't surround myself with drama. I don't surround myself with people that are full of drama. Um, if you are about drama, I will distance your, distance myself from you because I have enough stuff going on in my life. I don't need your drama added on there as well. But yeah, my relationships are changing. Um, my friendships are changing. Um, and I, you know, I've, I, there's people that I, I was close with that I'm not as close with anymore. And there are people that have come into my life that, and they're, the, my relationships with them are becoming more meaningful. And you know, it's like, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but it's like, there's so much I need to say and, I, and I've, I'm already at eight minutes, but like, I'm, I'm trying to do things with a purpose, trying to, um, yeah, live my life with purpose, have these, you know, these people in my life with purpose, um, being in people's lives with purpose. I don't want, um, I don't want someone in my life just because they've always been there, you know, if they're bringing negativity, you know how they say, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, so I've just been doing a lot of reflecting the past week or so. Some things have changed. Things are always changing, but, um, but I think it's good. I, I think it's, I think it's good. It's, you know, I remember, um, at church one time they were talking about, you're either in three different situations You've either just gone through a trial, you're about to go through a trial, or you're in the middle of a trial. Um, and that continues on and on and on and on and on and on. And sometimes you have multiple trials that you're going through. But with that, with that, you know, my outlook, my journey, whether it's weight loss, whether it's my hair, whether it's anything, I have to find the way to embrace all aspects of the journey, embrace the change, be one with it, and uh, find the positive in it, and make myself better because of it. Yes. So with that, I am satisfied with this video. I'm glad I redid it. Um, so with that, you guys keep your heads up, stay blessed, keep on moving, whatever order you want that to be in, that's great. I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Bye.